What's going on everybody? This is Broken Games HDR and this is my review for Ghostwire Tokyo. Now keep in mind this review is going to be pretty short because essentially what I'm doing is summarizing the things I said in my Ghostwire preview that I uploaded about a week and a half ago. My Ghostwire preview goes a lot more in depth and it's a lot more comprehensive. So if you want some information that I did not include in this review, please go check out that video. Link is in the description and I'll also try to put it at the end of this video. Now to my Ghostwire Tokyo review. So as Akito, the main character, with the spirit KK inside of him granting powers, you travel throughout the city of Tokyo fighting evil spirits known as visitors. You know, both of you have your own individual goals. So as this type of symbiotic relationship, you're helping each other out. Ghostwire Tokyo is a Japanese Bioshock. If you like Bioshock, you're probably gonna like this game. The gameplay is fun, the combat's good, weaving signs to perform elemental attacks is enjoyable, and even though you know the skill tree is very underwhelming, there's a great experience here. The side missions are both hit and misses with more misses. You know, there are a few exceptional and outstanding uh, side missions that kind of make you wish that all of them were this good, but you know, most of them really turn out to be like kind of errand or fetch quest. It attempts to be a horror game, you know, at some parts, but overall it fails to culminate to be that. It's not a horror game. There are a few parts that are a little bit creepy, but it's not a horror game. And I know a lot of people were kind of hoping that it would be that and turn out to be, but it's really not. A lot of the aspects of Ghostwire, from the way it feels to play to some parts of how it looks, is dated. Mechanically, it's a very sound game, even though there's clear signs of the design being old uh, compared to even some last gen games we played. If I'm being honest, which I always am, some parts of this game feel like a mid gen last gen game that we are, you know, just playing on current gen. And, uh, you know, it's just yielding some benefits in the visual and performance department. I played it on PS5 and it runs really well and it has different graphical settings. Uh, you know, in, in the menu so you can choose, you know, how you want to play. And I was especially impressed by the lighting and the reflections. I would have definitely preferred to play on PC and I recommend playing on PC if you, you know, have the proper hardware. Barring any, you know, PC ports, you know, I don't know if the PC port is garbage or not. So barring anything like that, then I would probably recommend playing a PC if you have one. But the PS5 experience is is completely fine. It's still good. The world isn't huge. You know, and they maximize it by making the game, you know, very vertical and giving you access to the rooftops of the city. Boss fights were good, but once again, I don't think there's anything amazing here. Nothing that I think uh, anybody will consider extremely memorable. Ghostwire has a serviceable story, above average visuals, I would say, and very enjoyable gameplay. You know, after 30 hours, it never got boring to me. It's not a game that does anything groundbreaking or excels in like one specific area. The gameplay is definitely the best part, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't say like it really excels, you know, in, in the gameplay department. Ghostwire is just another good game contributing to helping 2022 be one of the best years in gaming. If you love the concept of weaving signs, doing hand seals, uh, using elemental attacks, and love creatures from Japanese folklore, then this game is for you. I think it sets up a foundation for what could be an amazing sequel, right? What, what this game is, I think the sequel could be leaps and bounds better than it, right? It even has me conflicted that I'm not sure if I want an Evil Within 3 next or a Ghostwire 2. So it is that good that it has me conflicted because I see the potential and what it could be if it's a current gen only game and then they really go back to the lab and improve upon all areas. So I give Ghostwire a 7.5 out of 10.